Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade Dagger playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 14.2, and this is episode 10 of season 4. In the last episode, we came out here to the Shotgun Messiah, which is straight shot north of the church. Had a bit of a, f of a dealings with zombies. And, uh, lucky us, one of the last things we found in a crate before I ended the last episode was this glorious weapon, also known as a sniper rifle. My baby. Yeah, and we got plenty of ammo for it. Uh, off camera, I went through, looted all the containers. I put down this storage chest because it was more than my inventory can manage, so we pretty much got all this. Now I put everything in here and then just plucked out the things that I wanted the most. And as you can see, got a great deal of stuff. Now some of this stuff actually I can probably scrap. So take this, scrap the receiver. Take this, scrap this receiver. Because we got this one here is better these parts are crap so we get some scrap metals out of that uh... let's see 71, 128, this goes bye bye these are crap so we will scrap that uh, we probably have a full, s well, I guess it's all scrapped out, so let's see. Let's reopen this. Um, I grabbed one puffer coat and put it on, because I was starting to get a tit bit nipply. Let's see, we can scrap that, because I don't usually wear the tank tops. They really don't do much for you anyway. But they make great for cloth. And we'll scrap that one. And that one. So I have a stock at home that will go good with these sh shotgun components, but I'll come back for these at another time. Alright, so we'll take the gunpowder back, and uh, yeah, everything, like I said, everything's been looted. I put it in the storage chest. Uh, one tip that I would strongly su suggest for you guys is whenever you go to a store, whether it's in Nabs Gain or otherwise, um, Put down a storage chest up on the front counter. It's easy to remember where it's at, especially if you do it in one corner every time. And if your inventory gets full, you can just dump it all off in here, go back, loot all the other crates and, and debris in the store, put it all in here, sort out the things that you want to keep, what stuff you can get at another time, figure out what stuff you want to scrap, etc. And this way it frees the boxes up so that they can respawn. You get everything in them and then they can respawn. And yeah, you can just leave them in the box, but this way you, you're not you're not leaving any stone unturned. You can see what stuff you're going to get, have it all in one centralized location. So I don't have to go back through and nitpick through every single box and figure out which ones you've been through, which one has stuff, which one doesn't. Uh, you can just chuck it all in here come back and if you have to do relays from your, wherever your base location is to the store you only have to come to this one box to get everything from the one loot run uh oh that's interesting alright so it's in that direction maybe um oh there it is sweet we need some space, so I'm going to dump some stuff off into this car. That should be plenty of space. So let's head out towards that. That's actually great timing. was not expecting it, to tell you the truth, but it is day four, three days after the start. Got to check those stumps. As long as we stay heading in the same direction, should be good. That's cr 
crap right there. We can scrap that. Yep, it's right over there. So it's actually pretty damn close. That's awesome. Alright, so got some goggles and all that. Not anything super crazy good. Oh, it's right on the edge of the radiated zone. Now, you don't see the radiated zone in... Um, random gens, really. Ooh, awesome. But if you go over there, there's radiation, it will slowly kill you. So here's the supply crate. Holy Moses. <laughs> okay, I don't need the goggles. I don't need the shirt. Eh, sure, I'll eat some dog food. Scrap that. Oh! Something didn't get picked up. Alright, well, we'll read these schematics. Ooh, I got a beaker out of it, too. Sweet. An actual true antibiotic. So now we got flaming arrow schematics. Awesome. Now I'm wondering if there's anything out here that just fell out of it that... Because I don't think it picked up everything. But I'm not seeing it, so... Oh well, there'll be another one in three days. No complaints for me, guys. Tell you that much. That was a hell of a haul. Two different schematics. Some antibiotics. I think it was a chainsaw blade. Alright, I need a drink. They got a beaker out of it? I mean, that's awesome. Prostilicus is behind me. <laughs> I know he's back there. I didn't even have to look. I just have that sense of the presence of evil. Alright, so I'm all drunk. Oh, it's rocket launcher parts. Eh, okay, well, we got to kill this guy. First shot with a sniper rifle, guys. And it's a squirter! And he's carrying nothing. Still, he was a squirter. That's disturbing enough, isn't it? Rocket launcher parts, I'm not really too terribly worried about. I have to get a bunch of other parts just to get it going. Um, I'll leave the cloth fragments. Oh, what do I want to leave behind? I can leave the bow, because I can make a new one. So let's see. Jars, we'll do that, and then let's see. It's like triage right now. <laughs> Scrap that. Casings or headlight. Hmm. I'll pick bullet casings. Actually, we will put the hunting rifle stock in here because I don't think I have the schematic for that red. That's fine. So now we will head back. Lock that up. Now I usually take the uh, the wooded route through here because there is an area somewhere out here where there's blueberries. Oh, he ain't done yet. <laughs> okay. 
Take it in the chin, Bubba. And that was some lousy ass shooting. Hmm. Come on, you should be shifting over. So we'll also be able to find some stumps along the way if we head just right in the right direction. And that's what I'm mainly looking for, for, for honey, for flashlights, splints. I don't need those right now, amazingly enough. Ooh, another beaker. That's a nice little haul. Um, hmm. Locate the berry patch anyway. I think it's just up over this rise here somewhere. Another stump. Better night vision goggles. I can do that. I do want the blueberry seeds uh, because I want to get the farm going here and just as soon as I can anyway. Not important stuff there. So we're basically just trying to keep heading in a s southerly direction. And keeping our eyes peeled for... Uh, I ain't gonna hunt the rabbit. I don't have space for his goodies. Um, but keeping our eyes peeled for the tree stumps. Because I do want a, a couple flashlights, if not for making a mining helmet, uh, for mounting underneath my weapons. I'm thinking this is the road out here, isn't it? Yeah. So we've been already been down this way. I want to open up the map as much as possible. I know there's blueberry bushes that were out here uh, in Alpha 11. They could still be here. I probably just didn't walk through the right area. Eh, let's beer up. It's like spinach <laughs> for a drunk guy. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. All right. So there's the passing gas. I've already marked it on the map. I did the same thing for the Shotgun Messiah. So let's just head off cross-country style. See what we can come across, huh? Now one nice thing about the mini bike is it'll be get, we'll be able to get those uh, things that are in the Shotgun Messiah tr uh, secure wood box fairly quickly but we haven't got the mini bike yet emphasis on the word yet also I wanted to go a little off the beaten path for the sake of s seeing if we can come across the cell phone tower because I know it's somewhere out in this general direction and there's a cabin here that we can check out just kind of do a cursory scan through it because again my inventory is just chock full so let's see if we can stack up Okay, 
Okay, so that's stuff that we don't have in our inventory that can just stack on top of it. Nice. So yeah, this is like a Alpha 12, Alpha 13 cabin. Uh, candle you can grab. Cook fire. Radio couch is a new addition, I think. All right. Poo diving. <laughs> Ooh, there's our wrench schematic. So let's chuck that there. Read it. Smithing's up. Sweet. Excellent. No cabinets there. Uh, we don't have room for any more jars. Not a big deal. Uh, canned goods. Nothing goods. Space. All right. So yeah, that comes across the cornfield. I'm thinking somewhere out this way is where the cell tower is. So let's see if we can try to find that. It looks like coal, maybe. Would have been nice earlier. And by the way, if everything looks a little bit weird, one, it's the weather, and two, it's because I did turn up the gamma. It was insanely getting dark. So let's just see what's up the road here. Yeah, that's a cell tower there, I think. Another one pops like a zit. Curb your enthusiasm and die. Come on. Ah, oh, man. Gonna burn through ammo with these chuckleheads. Or headless. <laughs> Check all headless. Meh. So this is a cell tower, huh? Okay. I bet you it's these cell towers is, is what created the zombies. <laughs> well, hi there. You're going to finally die? Like a good boy? Hey there, Bosco. Ooh, got a little too close there for my likes. I do need the moldy bread. Huh. What am I going to sacrifice for it, though? Decision time. Cloth fragment, moldy bread. Feathers are a dime a dozen. Damn! Can't seem to shoot straight worth a damn. 
Okay, I'm not going to get too crazy in exploring that. I want to get back to base. We're getting short on time on the episode anyway. But we will definitely be revisiting this. So let's see. And it's wood. If I can pick it up. Um, yeah, like that. <laughs> Some more coal, I assume. Now in a future episode, hopefully somewhat soon, uh, we'll have to go find a cave. Damn, what is with me not shooting straight? Okay, so we'll put this up here. Capture that. Scrap it. Reclaim it. Run it on. Alright, so the lake should be up this way. I like this touch right here. Ansel Adams River. <laughs> if you don't know who Ansel Adams is, Google him. Or look him up on Wikipedia. Do bear in mind we are in a national park, supposedly. Alright, so getting closer to home. And there we go. Ran out of stamina right as we hit the steps, so that's great timing. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just offload everything in here. Anything that don't fit goes in here. And that is that. Alright, so we need to get the iron that I just threw in here. that in. Come on, there we go. Alright, and then we're going to grab all of that. There we go. So, I get some smelting done there. What you bitch? Oh, I'm wear still wearing the puffer coat. Alright, alright. Wine, 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 nag, nag, nag. Alright, so let's see what our stats are. Water, food, we're doing pretty good there. Um... So far, so good. So, let's see. I thought I brought some 9 mil rounds home. Yep, there they are. So, we just stack those up in there. Might this go out already? These last for, oh, 12 seconds a piece. Okay, that makes some sense. Let's see, do we have any more in here? No. Fair enough. So what I will do is go shopping. We definitely need more wood anyways.
All right, well, we're getting pretty close to the end of the episode, but uh, in next week, uh, we'll be dealing with the Horde, we'll be dealing with, uh, hopefully, some base construction. I mean, this is a great temporary base, but that's what it is, a temporary base. Uh, I hope to do some mining. This area is actually quite good for for mining. Uh, we need to do a little exploring. Uh, of course, more looting. That's kind of like what the name of the game is. is loot, loot, loot. To survive, survive, survive. Uh, what else? I definitely want to get some ammo up so we can go and t take on the popping pills. Uh, I could probably do it with just a bow and arrow, but it's a lot more challenging than it should be. Uh, but also, you know, like I've said before, this season, uh, this season's all about helping you guys that are brand new to the game learn some of the ins and outs of it, maybe a few tips. Uh, again, it's open up to other suggestions from other people, so, um, you know, like in the previous episode, I believe it was, I uh, shared some tips that I got in comments. Uh, particularly one relating to hunting. And, uh, you know, I just want to relay the, this kind of resource, uh, you know, wellspring of knowledge and, and tips about the game so you guys can enjoy it. You know, especially you first-timers that are just getting into the game. Ain't no shame in that. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, helping you guys get a leg up on what well, can sometimes be a pretty difficult game, depending on circumstances. But hopefully these tips will help make it a little more bearable, a little more uh, endurable. And it, in which case, translates into a bit more fun. Which is really what all this, these videos and, and gaming is all about, is just having fun. I don't see any point to being competitive to the point of being obnoxious. I don't see any point to, like, you know, my channel is bigger than yours or whatever kind of crap. It's just having fun. That's all it's about. And if I can help people out with their gameplay so that they can enjoy it more, it makes it fun for me because I do like teaching to a degree. But, uh, you know, it just makes me happy to you know that what I have said has gone to enhancing someone else's enjoyment of things. And that's what I'm mostly driven by. So let's do some little more resource gathering. Now one thing I have noticed, and it might be just circumstantial, there hasn't been any real thunderstorms in game because it seems like the last two alphas at the very beginning I get in and within a few minutes of gameplay the ear splitting crackle of thunder which I do like I, I think it's an awesome sound effect it just as long as it's not so brain shatteringly loud because I wear headphones when I play <laughs> that uh, you know, you go deaf from it, or crap your pants from being startled by it. But this is the first time where I've played a game near the beginning and haven't heard the thunder or seen the lightning in the first two, three days, or four days. All right. So we'll gather up these, go inside. Now the last tip of this episode I'll share with you is it's better to use wooden ramp frames as fuel. They're half the wood cost of regular wood frames. But they burn just as long 
At least that's how I understand it. Oh, let's see. Okay, we'll dump these off. So, wood ramp frame. Let's see, uh, 10, so we'll make 50 of them. Alright, so what we'll do now is we'll just add these into the fuel. Those will go up fairly quickly, but, um... But yeah, you guys get the idea. The, the wood, fram wood ramp frames cost half as much as a regular wood frame. They burn just as long, or maybe a, a, a little bit less, but... Either way, the, it's good for using those for fuel. Right now, I would prefer to use all my wood t and resources to make up a bunch of like wooden bows or or the like, and get my uh, weapon smithing skills up, and uh, that would work out you know l long term better. Uh, you'd still have to nurse the fire and all that, but yeah. Anywho. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you were able to gather some useful bits of knowledge and tips from this episode, if not some entertainment value. Uh, like, share, dislike, comment. Comment either way, uh, whether you like or dislike. Be polite, be constructive. Uh, share, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. And that's it for me. So, until next time, guys. See you later.